a lot of people don't appreciate the fact that electrical injuries can have severe consequences. And worsening and make it even more difficult is the fact you run all these tests and all these tests come back normal. And somebody has often an electrical injury, has headaches or migraines, you do an MRI, you do an EEG, and you don't see anything. And everybody's like, well, we don't see anything. It must be fake. It must be made up. It's not existing. Well, but that's the problem. It's not. It's real. And our tests are not adequate to detect what happens after an electrical injury. And I've seen patients that are tremendously debilitated. They can't walk. They can't speak. They can't eat. Their left side of their body is or right side is paralyzed. They can't uh, eat any food anymore. They have migraines. They can focus. They can't sleep. They have no energy. They do take two steps and they're exhausted. They have, um, they have seizures. So I can give you a battery of symptoms of 80, 90, 100 symptoms. And if you ask somebody who is not educated and not aware about what electrical injuries can do, they will all look at you as like, ah, let's do some tests. Let's run this battery of tests. And it all comes negative. And they were like, well, no, it doesn't exist. And this is the challenge the electrical community faces, the recognition that it is an injury pattern that can't be detected and only somebody who is educated and experienced in this area can make this call.